Hey everybody, it is Tanya at Thrifty Treasures and today I'm bringing you guys a thrift haul and I only spent $18. I got um, 18 items and I'm fairly confident that I'm going to make my money back just on one piece alone. So where I got these items is there's a little bitty church ran resale shop uh, in my city and uh, at the end of every month they gather all the clothing that hasn't sold and they put it on a rack and they mark everything for a dollar. And so this, this is where that haul is coming from. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the clothes. Um, I gotta tell you guys, Poshmark has really got me all excited about selling clothing and shoes again. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. My eBay user ID is uh, Couture Adore, so that's how I got started. I love fashion and I love it when my phone drops. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That was a bummer. My phone dropped. I'm trying to get my setup right here, you guys, and it's just not working for me. So instead of cutting out that out, I'll just leave that up and uh, <laughs> we can laugh about it. So um, yes, I love fashion and uh, that's how I have acquired so many mannequins. I've been selling on eBay since uh, 2000. So um, I love fashion and I think there's a lot of money to be made in it. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first one um, is a pair of jeans. These are Levi's Bootcut 515 jeans. And um, as you can see, it's a size 10. They originally had them marked for four bucks. So I got those, everything, each piece was everything on dollar. Um, here's another pair of low bootcut Levi's 545 jeans. And this is what the back looks like. Um, I don't have a ton of jeans listed on Poshmark right now, so but I would, I'm going to ask at least probably um, 25 for each pair, and if somebody offers me like 15 or 20, whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't have uh, a lot of experience with jeans over there on Poshmark. Now here I have two pairs of these. Uh, the brand is Premise, and they're these crazy pants like this. Of course, the pattern caught my eye, and let me show you guys the label. So, premise, premise. This pair right here is a size extra large. Um, and I just love them. They got that flare, that flare bottom to them on the leg there. Really groovy and psychedelic. And here's the other pair, kind of the same colors, different pattern. But this pair is a 1X. So, um, groovy, groovy, groovy pants. Okay, uh, the next one is a really pretty black shirt. It's a size large by Carmen Mark Vol Volvo. Show you that tag. And like I said, I have never heard of this brand, but for $1, I thought I would take my chances on it. Really nice. Um, next piece is a LuLaRoe. It is a size medium. And LuLaRoe, gosh, for size medium, that's really big. To me, that looks like, looks like it'd probably be like an extra large or maybe even a 1X. So their sizes uh, must run really big. But uh, yeah, gonna get uh, that up on Poshmark. And this one is really nice and fancy. I love this. It's a real pretty deep purple, almost like an eggplant. Uh, Calvin Klein blazer. It's a size 2X. Very fancy little label in there with a little gold hardware detail. Um, it doesn't button or anything. It's just the kind that lays flat. So I have no idea what I'll ask for that piece either. Uh, whenever I go to list something on Poshmark or eBay, I usually um, always do, my, do a little quick research and uh, sort sold and then, you know, See if I can find exactly the same item and just, you know, choose sell similar. The next item is a really cute little top. This is by Marona. It's an extra large. I know that uh, sometimes the common brands like from Target, like this one, sell really well because people are super familiar with them. They are affordable and almost everybody has some pieces in their closet. And the back's super cute too. I love that little, what do you call that? Like a little eyelid or something opening. Really pretty. Uh, next one is a Maggie Barnes green and black striped shirt. It is a size 2X. 
this is what it looks like. Um, I've sold, you know, a few items, plus size items on Poshmark. I was speaking with um, Lauren Hot Cheek Thrift on our last Poshmark talk show, and she says that she actually does better with a plus size clothing over on um, eBay. So um, knowing me, I'll probably cross post it on both platforms anyway. But this is what the label looks like. So I always pick up Maggie Barnes. It's a good seller. Um, this is the free planet I was talking about on the last Poshmark show too. Um, just like a little pullover, real comfy. It is a size medium. And this is the label, free people. Now I have never sold this brand before, but Lauren said it was a good brand. So I was happy uh, to hear that whenever she said that. So I'm gonna get that listed. And I have bad news, you guys, those, um, Oh gosh, what do they call it? Lily Pulitzer shorts. I have the little floral ones. I found a stain on them, so I don't think I'm going to be able to sell them. I'm so bummed about that. Um, I picked this up just because I thought it looked vintage. It's a really pretty, let me show you how long it is. Like a little house lounge dress. And it is a size extra large, and it's by Vicki Wayne. I haven't even looked it up yet, but... Uh, dresses like this can do well on eBay, you know, nice little house dresses, little summertime people want to be comfortable. Um, it's a really pretty summer color. And if it's vintage, I might even put it on Etsy too. And then of course, you know, Madeline is home for the summer. So she's been running around with her mommy and she uh, found a few items I'm going to show you guys. So it always makes me proud to see her pick out pieces, thrifted pieces um, that are of good quality and that she can wear. So she picked out this, and this is, uh, I think it's like a collab. It says Calypso St. Barth for Target. Let me show you guys the label so you can see it. There it is. Do I, do I have it upside down? I had it upside down. There it is. And, um, this is a super cute little dress for her, a little three-tier layered dress. And she also had a really good idea. She can also wear it as a swimsuit cover-up. So, gonna get that washed for her. She also picked out this really cute nautical uh, shirt by Old Navy with a little star on it. How cute is that for $1? Sister, are you over there on the couch? Yeah. Mommy's proud of you. You did a good job picking out your clothes. And then she also picked out this Cherokee, uh, super cute little cat shirt. It's got these little sequins on it, embellishments. Uh, super cute. Is she stylish or what? She's so stinking stylish. I just love it. <laughs> so, and yeah, both of these little tops, great for summertime for her, just to run around, you know, shopping or whatnot. And she's going to look super cute while doing it. Um, so that's the clothing that I, all the clothing that I got for a dollar. And I have a couple more pieces of clothing. Uh, well, actually just one more piece of clothing that I'm going to show you real quick that wasn't part of this haul, but I thought it was interesting and it just happened to be here. So I wanted to share with you guys. So, um, I picked this piece up probably about a month ago at a garage sale and it is by Diane Von First, Furstenberg and it is the color authority and it's brand new with tags. It's a size 2X dress. Here's the label, and then here's the uh, the brand new label. But um, and yeah, and you can see I got it for three bucks. But yeah, you know I cannot find a whole lot of information about this dress, and what I have found, uh, they've only gone for about twenty bucks. But no, no, not me. <laughs> I'm going to be listing this dress probably for about uh, I don't know, maybe about sixty-five dollars. I can't find one just like it. It's brand new with the tags. And um, you never know, somebody might be looking for this dress in particular. And if you guys ever find yourself in that situation, I always recommend that you go high on your asking price. Um, you know, you can always just put it out there for like a month. If you don't get any bites on it, you can always add a best offer option or lower your price. So, um, and if I think it's extremely rare, then I might even go so far as to do an auction just because if it's something I'm not, 100% sure about, you know, there could be a chance I could make a whole lot of money off of it, and I'm not sure I'll do an auction, but um, 
I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this one. I'll probably do a buy it now. So, and then I also got uh, four pairs of shoes. So, um, all four pairs I'm about to show you were only a dollar. So this brand here is Sesto, you, you, you see? I hope I'm saying that right. Um, as you can see, they had them marked for $6. And they're just really nice little brown loafers. Uh, nice leather soles. The only thing is they are a size eight and a half narrow. Narrow is a little bit of a harder sell, but that's okay. I have a storage unit. We'll just put them in the storage unit. They'll be out of the house. <laughs> so, um, yeah, not sure about the pricing, but I mean, I'm sure I could make $18 back on these shoes alone easily. So, got those. Um, I got a pair of men's rock ports. These are really nice, a uh, dark brown dress shoe. They had them marked, well, they didn't have them marked, so they must have only been about, I think, four or five dollars originally. And then that's what the bottoms look like. Let's see if you can see the Rockport name in there. But yeah, it's been, they look super comfortable too. They're like, these are size 13, and they are made in Mexico, leather uppers. Um, it's been a while since I've sold men's dress shoes, but I'm definitely ready to get back in the mix of things, especially when I can purchase something for a dollar and sell it for $25 or, or more. I mean, you just can't beat that. I mean, I have neglected clothing and shoes for far too long and I'm so happy to be getting back into it. It's my passion and it, you know, revs me up and I get excited about it. Uh, the only thing I don't like doing is measurements, but I think a lot of us feel that way. That's the only thing I really don't like so much about clothing but um you know it's essential it's part of it you're gonna have to do it anyway people are gonna want to know what the measurements are so definitely go ahead and uh, take the time and get that done for your descriptions and the other pair of men's is by gh bass and company these are also um, a size 13 they're black men's shoes dress shoes and then that's what the soles look like leather um, and here's what the tag looks like. So I don't know if this is a good brand to pick up. Like I said, I'm just now really kind of starting to get back into these men's shoes, but they look like really good quality. I mean, I know that's a good brand. Bass is a good brand for sure. Um, but yeah, oh, and before I forget, I wanted to show you guys the sponge that I was talking about on the, um, the last Poshmark uh, live, or Poshmark Tark live show that we did. So it's these uh, sponges like this. Uh, you can buy one similar to this one. I got this one at Payless. Um, and it's just a little sponge. Quite literally, it sits in this tray. You can use it on black, brown, burgundy, any color shoe. And it's going to shine them right up really good. Um, that one's actually dried out. I just bought this one at Target the other day. This one was $5. Same situation going on here. A little bitty plastic tray. And the sponge just sits right down inside. Really great for cleaning up your shoes and making them shine super fast. And look really good for your pictures too. Um, so I did have one more pair of the shoes, a ladies pair. These are super nice, you guys. Uh, they originally were asking $6, but I guess they did not sell because I got them for $1. <laughs> um, they are by Cole Haan. Cole Haan Couture? Yeah, no, Cole Haan Country, I think it says. So here they are. Nice little uh, weaving pattern here of black and brown. So that makes it a nice neutral dress shoe. It can definitely be worn with black or brown. With some tassels. Uh, tassels are all the rage right now from what I understand. They're really popular, especially with the jewelry. So um, here is what the back looks like and the front and the bottom. Nice leather soles. And there is the label. Cole Haan. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like I can get $18 for these shoes easily. So I'm telling you guys, clothing and shoes, and they're easy to source, right? And cheap to source, so why wouldn't you be selling them? Um, so that's all I've got for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed my thrift haul, um, and I hope that you like um, and enjoy these videos because I'm definitely going to be doing more of them. Like I said, I'm really getting back into it, getting back to my roots. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to stop selling jewelry 
or one-offs or other hard goods. I mean, I'm still gonna do all of those things. Um, you know, one of the great things about being a reseller is whenever you get tired of selling something, you can always go and try and sell some other stuff. So you kind of keep your interest always going at times. And by doing that, you're also always learning too. And um, that's always important. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.